Hello everyone, this is Lock OS, and welcome back to the mission editing series. Uh, we're going to today talk about adding static objects to the game. This is a way shorter topic than we've in the past two, and for good and for good reason because there's not really too much to static objects. Um, it's, but it is a very, even though it is a relatively simple thing, and it's a very important thing if you want to add more life to your missions, as well as give yourself uh, some ground targets to go after that don't fire back or they're more or less buildings. So, again, you want to, for your static objects, you want to select this bridge icon. Brings up a static object here. Uh, static object page, uh, there's categories, uh, airfield and deck equipment for stuff for the carriers. Animals, you can add cows and have them in different paint schemes. Yes, I know. Trust me, the community went wild when those were introduced. Cargo, you can have cargos for, uh, these are for uh, mostly meant for helicopters for sling loading, but you can have them in also as decorative stuff. Effects, uh, you don't want to use effects. There's actually a better way to do them other than it's using statics. Uh, ground vehicles, you can use uh, ground vehicles as statics. Helicopters, heliports. Uh, we'll get to heliports later because that's a very important thing. LTA vehicles are right now just currently barrage balloons. Uh, you can set uh, how high you want the barrage balloons to be put up. Uh, this is more of a World War II thing, but it's a thing you can do. You got personnel. Like, uh, this is more or less meant for uh, the, the uh, carrier. But you can have, like, uh, you can kind of use them also as a uh, ground crew. Planes, obviously, you, know, you can have planes up. Uh, one note on planes if you use planes as a static object, they will actually get covers and like um various bits and gubbins that basically uh showcase them more like um uh, like they're a parked aircraft that, that's sort of uh in quote unquote like i would say long term long term storage but they're sort of like very much a parked aircraft that's been like sort of covered up and like made so that like nothing gets in it or there's nothing like funky so like oh the intakes will be have covered the canopy might be covered you might have a boarding ladder put up it looks really cool. It's a really cool effect that certain aircraft have, so they can look like they're not uh, that they're uh, sort of been like in a parked state, they're in a parked and like the pilots left state. Sea shelf objects, obviously, you can only place those over water. Um, so I'll delete that. You can left click. You can um, go here. There we go. You can place things like oil rigs. And then these can become supply chains. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about suppliers and all this other stuff. Uh, there's going to be a new um, dynamic mission, ca uh, dynamic campaign setups, hopefully. And eventually, once that comes in, we'll be able to get a more idea of actually how to use that and with the new system. You have an oil rig. For a cheat. So you can basically have oil rigs you place. Uh, ships. You can have static ships, structures, warehouses. And these are probably where you're going to find like the most between ground vehicles and structures. This is where you're going to get the most use out of it's your static objects. Uh, real quick, we'll go to warehouses. Uh, warehouses. These again also uh, these play into the supply and like uh, logistics side of the game, which has kind of been abandoned for a while. But hopefully, with the new dynamic campaign that will eventually come out, they'll get to doing that. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to go over to heliports. There's a heliports are a bit unique. We're gonna go ahead and select pad single. Okay. Now keep in mind with statics, uh, you can have a static set at different headings. So you can adjust the heading there. Uh, you can have it hidden on the various. Uh, you can have it on the different hidden on the different various things. Uh, dead. Dead will spawn in the unit dead. So it'll look like, uh, so you can basically build up a base, have everything selected as dead, and then it'll show up basically sort of as a ruin. So you can basically kind of have, so you, a good use case of this would be uh, in a mission, you can have sort of a enemy, say, encampment near your air base, and then you can go on an uh, airstrike, take it out, and then on future missions, have. Uh, 
and then basically when you create your next mission use that base but set everything to dead and it'll be like it's been abandoned uh, but keep in mind that static uh, uh, something to keep in mind static units uh, they are very much they have no AI uh, they have no AI or weapons so if you want to keep ground units steady you're just gonna have to basically do what I did over here basically create your ground units don't give them a waypoint they'll stay steady but they'll be able to shoot back uh, there are buildings by the way that have guns and you will uh, have guns and can shoot back you'll have to go underneath uh, ground units and fortification and you can basically find your fortification that shoot back in here uh, these are all mod units we can do a bunker and the bunker will shoot back if you set it up as part of a vehicle group but statics like this uh, heliport do not shoot back uh, on this note we're gonna actually take a little bit of a mini detour if you want to place a unit on an aircraft carrier deck go back over here I knew there was something I was missing from this deck and that would be some more deck crew and some more deck equipment. Modify right at uh, adjust static. Uh, you want to make sure to the state coalition, by the way. Uh, ground uh, your uh, AI will attack static units. So obviously, what we want the carrier deck to have the right static units on them. So let's see here. Da, 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 da. Large forklift. There we go. We'll use this. To, uh, mule here just its heading and we'll place it in between these two tomcats and if we do this and we don't link it and if we do this as is this uh this little mini tractor is going to fall through the carrier and just be floating in the water as the carrier sails away to get it to stay on a carrier deck we have to actually link it to the unit and uh, i named this carrier uh UFS Saint Arc, so it'll actually so this static object will be linked to the carrier and move with it on the deck. So if you want to create a carrier, uh, something like the carrier on a carrier deck, you're going to have to do this. Let's go ahead and uh, right uh, left control C. Uh, we can copy it and right control V to paste. Uh, that's a good way to keep uh, sort of way a good way to keep track of things. So that way you keep on linking units to the same carrier and you don't forget. So we can go ahead also, once again, go to personnel, and then we'll add a shooter. Add a blue shirt. Uh, blue shirts are aircraft handlers. That's one of the rules on the deck. Aircraft and uh, equipment drivers on the deck, so we'll add one guy there. And he delinked, so double check to make sure he's linked back up. And there you go. All right. So, oh, there it is. Uh, something to note also, um, the reason why I picked down here a heliport. Um, heliports are unique for static objects because VTOL aircraft, like the, well, the only VTOL aircraft we have is the Harrier. Uh, not quite sure. I know there's some mod units that might be VTOLs. I don't know if they work the same way, but the, uh, we can have a Harrier, and we'll make him an enemy Harrier. Uh, Harriers and helicopters can use uh, FARPs right here as a spawn location. So it's an AI Harrier, as veteran, but as a reference by the fact that it's a skilled veteran. We can have him take off from ramp, and as you can see, it slotted him here. Whereas if we did that take off from ramp, say over here it'll actually slot to one of these AI slots here on the airport. So you can use these uh, use for, uh, these heliports and FARP uh, icons to actually make uh, forward operating air bases for your helicopters. So we're gonna go ahead, there's uh, AV-8B Veteran. And you can also have it where it, fly, it sticks around with him so you can move the uh, heliport with him and you don't have to necessarily also spawn them there. So you can have 
have them spawn somewhere else or an air start, and then you can use it also as a landing waypoint. Oh, come on, you want to land. Up there. Huh. Well, it wants to land back at the main air base, but you can use them to at the very least st uh, spawn aircraft. So, that's something you can do. Uh, otherwise, you can also use them just as set decoration. You don't have to have aircraft spawn there. Uh, to have aircraft on, you can use also a static object in, like, for instance, it's a static teleport that just popped in. Go here. Go to helicopters. Let's see here what's a good. Do, 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 do. We can have a. Then we have a helicopter like here also just on there. And you, you can place certain statics on top of other statics. Like this is a valid combination. The the um, heliport will be on the ground and then they'll spawn the helicopter on top of it. So you can have it set up like that. Um, also players can use these as well, obviously. Uh, if you want players to use these and you want to be able to refuel and rearm, uh, you're, you're going to want a uh, at the very least, a static FARP storage, a static ammo store, like a uh, basically either one a uh, one of these st uh, static objects where it's a ammo as a FARP ammo storage and a static object of FARP fuel depot, or uh, you, you you can definitely use a couple of different various fuel trucks and ammo trucks, and that'll also um, get it to work. There's a whole way to set up FARPs, but the simplest way, if you want players to be able to refuel and rearm, is to go ahead and slap these a uh, Ammo storage farp and a farp fuel depot next to some helipads, and your uh, and your harriers and air hel helicopters will be able to use it. Um, some last notes before we end this. Uh, if you plan on having static buildings being destroyed or otherwise part of mission logic, give them a unique name in the editor, um, so that way you can easily find them. So if we want to destroy this uh, farp storage. Uh, we want to do, we can just do this, like farm ammo storage. Uh, that way we'll know that uh, we're trying to destroy that. And keep in mind, you want to just keep things both, both these names the exact same. So, oh, you can also do this. There we go. Keep it like that. So then that way, uh, that way you can easily find it in the mission editor for later. Sometimes if you end up copying a lot of static objects, you'll eventually find that the name gets really weird. Like things will be weirdly or oddly named uh, just because you copy and paste it and it does weird things with the naming convention. Um, also, if you want to do static buildings as targets, uh, keep in mind that uh, the larger the building that you place in the game generally means the larger the bomb you're going to have to use to destroy it. So don't give uh, as a real quick, uh, it's a real quick preview into like uh, weaponeering in this game to figure out what weapons you need to use for what things. If you say, for instance, use do, 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 this. Let's see here, I'm trying to find it. Sometimes it's a little hard to find what you want when you think of it. Yeah, if you want to use like this building, for instance, uh, just keep in mind like large buildings like this, you're gonna need like either um, to make sure to give your players founder um, thousand pounders or two thousand pounders to take it out. Uh, don't uh, don't expect eighty twos or even Mavericks to work on these buildings. Um, just a just a something with the DCS damage modeling. Um, larger buildings, make sure you you equip your players with larger bombs to take them out if you use them as targets. Um, save yourself a little bit of headache there, and if you have a building like a, and I know this is in C, command center, if you have a building like this that's like a bunker sh uh, shape, you're going to need a penetrator bomb like the um, paveway food in order to take that out. So keep in mind that uh, certain uh, some of the static objects you can place in the game, you're if you're wondering, like, oh, I placed a static object, why isn't it being destroyed? Um, 
make sure you give your players or yourself a big enough bomb to take care of it. And that's it for static objects in game. Hopefully that was a much faster video. Um, not too much to go over with them. Uh, they are it's they're a really nice option to place in game if you want to do set dressing, especially on carrier decks. So until next time, guys. This is Loco S signing out.